Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode of Antimatter Factory. And been doing some work off camera. There we go. <laughs> um, I've automated nether stars. And let's go ahead and teleport on over there. You know, I do have this thing here. Which... Okay, you gonna do that for me? Oh no, it just everything takes me here. Okay, whatever. Uh, making some teleporters always a bit weird that way. But uh, I've got weatherproof glass. I've got a wither builder down there, which I found out the hard way is not explosion proof. So I got a bucket of water in here. To make sure that the explosion is completely contained. And seeing as that bucket of water is there, this weatherproof glass, I could have done anything here. So, it does take a little bit of time to make the wither skeleton skulls, which may eh, a bit of a downside there. But I have nine of these things. So, what can I do with these? Oh, the wither just spawned in. Um, I could make gravitation modulating unit. Eh, eventually. How about, how about we make some draconium ore? Hey, look at that. And I just blew up again. Kinda. But everything else is working great. Um, my reactor down here has produced a whole whopping two antimatter. Because I let the world AFK overnight. And we're a quarter of our way to our third. Alright, let's go in here. Uh, we should probably look at making a fusion reactor. Now... This stuff, this is the only recipe for it, right? So that gives me a stack of draconium. And then I can turn four draconium ore into a heart. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to need to automate the core. Not the core, the, uh, the ore. Yeah. Uh, should I? Yeah, I mean, I guess I could, right? Because hydrogen's not hard to get. I've got a ton of chlorine saved up already. And I could always make more. So, oh, also, yeah, electric motor. Just sitting down here chilling. So, made that for the, I forgot what it's for now. I think I can get rid of that and those. That's not craftable in either of these. I've got that. So, this guy. Any chaos fragment. So, yeah. Going to need another stars. Going to, yeah, need all this stuff. So I'll get to that eventually. But I threw that on the wall so I wouldn't forget that I had it. So I need a chemical injection chamber then, huh? Uh, oxidizer, crystallite. I didn't teach that. Hmm. I don't think I was ever planning on taking it to the 4X processing, so... Uh, let's see. Chemical injection chamber. There we go. That's a purification chamber. I don't think I taught you either. Because it didn't show up as blue. Um, chemical washer. What do you do? Oh, it's the slurry cleaner. Uh, yeah, we're not doing the slurry, so I'm not going to worry about that one. There you go. Okay, let's try that again. Hey, I... I'm going to have an injection chamber. Alright. So it goes injection chamber, then to purification chamber, then to crusher. Okay. So one of you. Thank you. And then we need a crusher. So one of you. There we go, and then an enrichment. So one of you. And then let's go over here to our pattern terminal, and we're just going to turn draconium dust, this stuff, into an ingot with a crafting recipe, I think. I meant to do that. There we go. And, yep, you'll work just fine in the furnace. Good. 
and that can go over yeah so easy enough we're gonna go uh let's go injection chamber purification pressure and enrichment and you are going to be outputting to the left you are going to be inputting and then outputting I turn on auto eject for this one it okay that actually it did okay and at that that by the way we don't have a way to mute the damn wither and that is a global effect so no matter how far away i put that i'm going to hear that gong noise all right we're also going to need i need a rotary and i need a separator so this is where it's going to get kind of fun uh sides right mechanism machines always suffer from a lack of sides uh main power right I'm going to go cable. Uh, advanced should work, I think. Alright, all these machines have power. Great. Um, mech upgrades. Probably be a thing. Uh, let's see. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I forgot why I made all those upgrades. I made them for something. I can't remember exactly what it was now. But there was something that was going to be... Oh, yeah, pumps. Whoops. I made enough upgrades for, I think, 32 pumps. So let's go back to here then. 32, please. Since that's what I just used. Yeah, I made that for my uh, upcoming fusion reactor. So, so we need a separator. A uh, separator can probably go... Probably actually get away with putting it right here. So, you're going to need power. <laughs> there it goes that again. And then our rotary concentrator can go here. And then I'm going to need some exporters. Right, you are going to be exporting on liquid chlorine. That's gaseous, there we go. Liquid. You are going to be exporting water. So like that. And I don't have any cables on me. Wow. That is unheard of. Great. You're going to fire on up. And you. Oh, I missed a step. Dang it. Okay. Well, come here. Not the end of the world. All right. So our rotary concentrator goes here, actually. Exporter. Cable. Now you can do chlorine. And do you have any in here yet? Nope. Uh, we need to toggle the operation then. There it goes. Okay. You're going to need power still, though. 
Because right now it's just running out of power that got charged all this in my inventory. And you're going to get an exporter probably here. Okay. There we go. Because you're just going to export this stuff. So we need the... Oh, what was it now? Okay. Chemical infuser, right? Hydrogen and chlorine. You can go here. You're filling up wonderfully. Okay, great. Uh, you're orange, right? So input one needs to be up here. You can be output there. Didn't mess anything up? Nope. Okay, great. So we need hydrogen, white stuff, to go to the right. So input, actually, it's gases. Here we go. So I need blue tank to output to the right. I need cyan tank to purification chamber output to the left. Okay. There we go. Uh, can I get some tubes now? Eh, sure, why not? It's overkill, but I've got them pre-made, so. There you go. There you are. You should be making hydrogen chloride and pumping it into this machine here. Awesome. So... I used a bunch of hydrogen chloride. I'm going to have to speed upgrade these machines here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Not that one. Here we go. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, just give me like 30 more of each. Alright, and then you're crushing it, then you're enriching it into draconium dust. And I just need an importer on this thing. So let's go ahead and make the front side and output. And we'll just get an importer. And let's just get like 10. And there it goes, back into the system. Awesome. So, ah, uh, water is your issue. Which, I've been having issues with water now, actually. Yeah, look at that. The thing was at max integer. And this is apparently using a stupid amount of water. Although, something weird is going on with the system over here now. I mean, we're still getting water in here. But it's like, it's not noticing that water is flowing into the system. Unless I'm looking at a fluid grid. In which case, then it goes nuts. Right? See, we were just out of water again. And now we're up to 5,000 buckets. So, yeah. Also, a oh, QIO importer. Yeah, now it's we're just gaining insane amounts of water. But yeah, I have no idea what's going on. It's like I have no idea. Right. You are still having issues though. So how about we go at refined? We'll just grab dang it. Grab in the wrong order. It's currently making stack upgrades for me. You can stop that. You're good. Uh, it's still going to make them. And it grabs speed upgrades to make stack upgrades. There we go. So you get that. Get that. There we go. Now you have water. You're full hydrogen. Great. 
you are full oxygen. These are going to take a while to fill up. Not a problem. And... Yeah, you should be good to go. But it's just water. Which, uh, I have no idea what's going on with it now. Good thing I'm not relying on water to cool my reactor, though. Yep, see, look, our water was empty again. I have no idea why that's happening. But it's just like water quits importing into the system when I'm not looking at a fluid grid. It's like it's being lazy and not working unless I'm actually watching. So, I can probably shut off like my witch water. I don't need that much. <laughs> I really don't. And apparently, I need everything I can get. Okay, well, that's... No, that's obsidian. This is our witch water here. Um, Only work with redstone signal, right? That's importing. Eh, good enough. Because that'll just sit there and, and wait now. Have something to eat. And let's buy on our water. And it freaking did it again. Come on, Rupine Storage, what the hell? <laughs> Damn it. And it was empty again just now. Alright, um... I don't want to use external storage is what I'm going to have to, I think. Because otherwise it's just not going to behave. And apparently, according to the pack maker, external storage just cause, you know lag and all that. Wow, how long does it take to make some circuits? For processors. Oh, I just actually... Yeah, okay. You want to make the thing for me? Here we go. Because I, I had a comment about making a sink, and it's like, it's working fine. You know, I mean, honestly, it was. And, and now it's not, so... I'm going to remove that. I'm just going to put this here. Set you to fluids. There. There's our 2 billion water now. Whatever. You know, it's... I have an external storage on a sink that holds 2 billion water. What the hell? Am I just, like, exporting water to a void? No, I couldn't be. If that was the case, then it would never fill up. Um, yeah, look at that. See, these things are draining now. It says I got a bucket of water available, though, to crap that. Oh, I never taught it. Yeah, no, I never did. Hardened clay is not something I really needed, so... I've just, I think I made a stack back in like episode 5 or whatever, and I've been coasting on that ever since. Hey, do that. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Hardened clay. Thank you. You go here. In there. And now that's full. What the heck? That is... So weird. But yeah, no, it's... Uh... I, yeah, I'm completely at a loss on that one. You know, I could just go ahead and get an importer hooked up on the sink out here as well. Since apparently... Would we just whitelist water on you? Would that make a difference? Um, but we go extract only. Oh, wrong thing. Well, good to know it'll hook like that, but there they are. 
you, and then you can have a bunch of those, not that, uh, in fluid mode. And what we should see is our water just, yeah, skyrocketing up. What we're not seeing is the 2 billion water that is supposed to be in the system, or accessible by the system. Right, um... Fluid disk, yeah, we got a ton of fluids in here. I put another one in just in case, just to see, because this says 1 billion, and I had over a billion units stored in that creative storage, but it didn't ever register, so. Kind of curious what it would do, and the answer was nothing. Yeah, and our water was empty again. Man, what the hell? Maybe if I do, let's see. We do the pipe on top then. And there's that. Fluid interface goes here. And of course, there's a freaking lantern right there. Dang it. You take stack upgrades? You do. Okay. And still, when I'm not looking, it's not receiving water. I chunk loaded the area. I mean, hell, I'm within area right now to chunk load it. So. I've not had refined storage do this to me before. Kind of weird. It's like when it's not open, it just deletes all the water inside of it. Because right now we really shouldn't be. I mean, we'll be exporting some water out. That's ether gas. That's water. Yeah, these will be exporting some water, but most of our water needs are going to be taken care of by this now. And oh, nope, let me up. Let me up. Uh, yeah, your water's staying up there. So, and we were out of water. Okay, whatever. I have no idea. I really don't. Uh, let's go ahead, though, and we're going to drop this into here. And yet, it's still able to move water into here without a problem. But I guarantee you, if I open this up, Yep, zero. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on with it. But it was filling this without a problem. Because it should be a zero right now. So this is just fine. But it was emptying out my crop plots over there. And it looks like our oxygen production is good. Oh, this thing. Yep. This needs upgraded. There we go. Probably uh, should hook this system back here up again. Full of brine. We are back stuffed on sodium. The thing is, which I don't need for my reactor. So how about I just get another rotary then? We'll slap you down, like right here. Uh, we'll go ahead and give you a power cable. And I need two ender tanks. And 
probably put you down. All right, uh, what do we have access to? I never did make die seeds. Uh, let's make you cyan. That's pretty close, right? Liquids, auto eject on. Hey, cool. And then we can just store this stuff in the system and forget about it. I don't know if I'm ever really going to need liquid sodium, but uh, I have importers on me, right? Yeah. And loads. Yeah, it's fast enough without being speed upgraded. Cool. But that'll keep our chlorine uh, flowing, pretty much. Because I am going to need a lot of draconium in the future, but here soon I should have four stacks of dust, so... Are we doing it on stars now? Because that thing has been annoying me all episode. We're at 20. Okay, so it should be shut off now. So come over here, we should only see four soul sand. Oh, wait. It had a skull in it already? Because uh, I have a detector down there who is not lit up. Oh. I thought I set you to 20 nether stars. Dang it, I cleaned up my scaffolding down there, too. Yep, it's still making heads, so... Uh, not you. Not that. This. Here we go. Yep, and it just spawned a wither in, so... Wait for him to spawn, because I don't want to get... hit by the blast and knocked out of my water stream. There we go. I should have gone down one lower. Yep. Actually, I did go down one lower. I should have placed that a little bit lower. What? Water? Go away. Stop that crap. Thank you. Now it's lit up. Mit signal one above him out. 20. I bet I have 21 in here, though. Hey, look at that. Alright, so not really a problem, but... Didn't work like I expected it to. Expected it to completely shut off when it hit 20, not... Actually, I have it set to emit signal one above amount, so yeah, it's going to hit 21 and call it good. Oh, well. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Um, I've got to make some fusion stuff still. Um, let's see, logic adapter would be a good idea. Uh, we're going to need a controller. Hey, look, that's done. Um, like, say, four ports would be good? Probably overkill, but oh well. Uh, this is going to definitely be overkill. There we go. And then I need some reactor glass. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a couple stacks of that, because it's honestly whatever. Who cares? Lasers. Um... Sure. Laser focus matrix. Thank you. Laser amplifier. Uh, sure, whatever. I've got the resources. There's no reason for me not to. And, but yeah, you need lasers to kickstart the fusion reactor, so. Uh, speaking of which, power. I think you need a lot of power for this. Well, the good news is... We're at 1.4 trillion forge energy, so we're okay. I, I think we're good. How are you holding up? Uh, you are doing great, so I don't have to turn this thing on. Well, it's theoretically on, barely. Yep, yeah, sodium's doing good. Chlorine is 
barely running. There. <laughs> Get our chlorine going. I don't need sodium anymore, so. This system is still pumping out 52000 ish. We are out of melons, actually. So I am just going to break that and disconnect it. Uh, this is our HDPE system. Okay, good. Just making sure it didn't send them. Because you can crush melon blocks as well to get biofuel. I just don't recommend it. And this should be more than enough to keep this running. So. Yep, we have liquid ethylene pouring in now. There it goes. Once it hits 100, it starts making HDPE pellets for us. Good. And. Gonna let that burn out. But yeah, there's no point in keeping the system up and around anymore. Oh, well, I might as well get rid of it. All right. I may have made a mistake here. Yep, I did. Yeah, it's funny, no matter where I select, it just sends me here. Yeah, whatever. Alright. So I can finally get that hole patched on the floor, and... I'm just waiting for these things to empty themselves out at this point. Uh, you aren't needed either. There we go. And... I can get rid of all that. Hey, look at that. Looks so much nicer now, doesn't it? There we go. And I just have this nice little ethylene production going on, or HCPE production going in the corner now. Oh, yeah, one thing I did kick off because I was curious to see how badly it would affect my system. Uh, I've got a stack of dark matter blocks now, and another stack of dark matter, and honestly, it, yeah. My system barely noticed. So, yeah, we're doing okay. Uh, coal, we're up to quite a bit now. I put coal seeds over there. I also put quartz seeds in, but I never actually did anything with it. Uh, let's see, where is my nether quartz? I never put it over here. Oh, shame on me. All right, well. How about we do that? Right. 10,000. Which this number hasn't changed in quite a while. I'm not really sieving soul sand at all anymore, so. I think at one point in time I had 16,000 before I started doing refined storage stuff. Uh, this guy over here is just running like a champ. What, what do you set to? Oh! That's why. Because I've got a uh, a lot of a nether quartz essence right now. Uh, is it you? Yeah. So let's go here. I am going to teach you. Wait a second here. Where is my? Here we go. Oh, you bastard! Okay, yeah, we'll we'll make that a recipe, I guess. And not you, you can export this stuff. And then you are my enriching factory. I imagine enriching factory is going to be enriching chamber. Yeah, it's going to be the way to go with this stuff. So there you go. Wow, that's going to take forever. I do have the upgrades on me still, so we're going to go like that. We're going to have, yeah, a lot of quartz coming in now. 
Uh, each essence is worth six, and I've got just under 50,000. So, yeah. We're going to be doing okay on quartz, I think. I forgot I'd set up the system to uh, basically keep quartz topped off. Which was smart of past me, but I just wish I'd remembered. Alright, and we're good to go. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one. Sign signing out. Have fun.